congratulations and welcome to the artist haven tonight we're doing a saturday night shenanigan type creators tribe uh hangout panel and we're just gonna have some fun with this and we do have a topic but if we go off topic it's not a big deal make sure you have a beverage and something to snack on and your vape or whatever smoke of choice we, we have we have no <laughs> limits here so i'm gonna bring on uh, these lovely ladies that decided to come and hang out with me tonight michael should be joining us shortly where he's at nobody knows he's probably taking care of <laughs> so um why don't we start with julie why don't you introduce yourself and tell us what you do hi i'm julie e and i paint i paint i'm a paint pourer and hey. rock painter all kinds of Art stuff. That's cool. Art stuff is cool. Art stuff is really cool. Um, and then we have Miss Karen. Hi. So I'm Karen. I love to paint, but I also love glue. And so I like to glue with my paint. And um, hi, it's really good to be here. Sorry. <laughs> I hear snorting already. Oh I just God. like collage. I'm a collager. She, 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 I, 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 like, I just love the fact I like glue. <laughs> 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 this is like, no, I, I do too because I think I have a problem. I think I have a problem. I have like, I have like 14 different kinds of adhesives in my studio. Oh my God, oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. So, I, I do like glue, too. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I think I have four. <laughs> I, have a lot. I can never have enough glue. Nope. Nope. Love the glue. <laughs> um, yeah, don't make me mad or I'll glue you to something. <laughs> Hello, Angie. Hello, Angie. Hello, Tish. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. Hi, Julie. Hi, Karen. Hi, Angie. <laughs> um, so, and I do fluid art. Yes. Um, okay. Do you do anything yeah, else? So I'm just, just here to talk art? about, um, but I love being here because you have so many different types of artists that do different things, and it's it's just wonderful. Um, it's a wonderful community and a great group of people, so I appreciate you having me here. Absolutely. We love having you in here. You're just so bright eyed and bushy tailed all the time. Like if you're one of those morning people, we are arch nemesis, though. No. <laughs> uh -uh. no. <laughs> Michael has learned the hard way not to talk to me in the morning. <laughs> yeah. I hear you. Um, there. But we did have a topic tonight. Um kind of tools of the trade type thing like what are your top tools that you use in your artwork or your creative process your creativeness um but before we get down to the topic let me just go through the chat real quick here and say hello to those in chat uh cheryl had to leave us she had a family emergency so we're just sending oh, out our love wow. yes oh, XOXO, XO, cheryl oh yeah. no Hey, Carol. Yeah, she. It's all good. She she texted me and, and just said what was going on, and, and I said go take care of your family. So yeah, um, yeah, absolutely. Good. Sending them lots of love. Yes, absolutely. yeah. Same. Miss, Miss Janice is in the chat. Hi, uh, Janice. She's in the chat. Hi, Virginia. Uh, hey. Hey. Acrylic Creations by Jay Witty is in the chat. Hello, hello. Jay Witty. Hey, Brian from Brian's Hi, Brian. Upper Poly Artistry is hey, here. Brian. Hello, hello. Um, Deb from D&D &D Art Gallery is here. Hello. Deb, hey. Hi. Hey, guys. Ron Artapalooza, Deb. <laughs> yeah. We need someone to keep us girls in line. <laughs> yeah. Right. <laughs> I just spilled right. my wine. <laughs> oh no! 
That's alcohol abuse. Uh, that's right. I was, I was waiting. If you weren't going to say it, I was. <laughs> and we have Joyce. I'm going to I'm going to hash this really bad because I'm looking at a screen five feet away from me. That is literally a 20 inch screen. So I'm it testing is, my glasses right now. Uh, uh, it is Joyce Greenwalt, Coco, Annie's photos and art. Okay, nice. Thank you, Julie, Woo! I appreciate You're you. You're welcome. <laughs> no nice. problem. And Pamela, May I call you Joyce? Here. I have my tablet. It's so, uh, I, I have my phone too, but I, I can't read that either unless I bring it. I need to get bifocals. Okay, that's why I'm down here like this. Like this. Oh. I look at my phone. <laughs> yeah, then I have to drop the glasses down. Yeah. I have librarian. I have bifocals now, so I used to be like oh, this yeah. all the time, all the yeah. time, yeah. seeing distance yeah. over the top, seeing. Yeah. Close up down through the bottom, but yeah, oh, now no. I'm at that. I'm at the wonderful age of bifocal. Yeah. Me too, and and then Me I too. also squinch up my nose, and I and I look like a chipmunk because I'm like, eh, oh. I'm old. <laughs> so it's uh -huh. it's like total old, I, total old. <laughs> it's it's old. <laughs> I get oh. it. <laughs> Me too, guys. <laughs> My focals, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm not old enough for that, but I, I have had glasses since I was like in like second grade, so I suppose it's time. Ah. Anywho, um, so I, I just wanted to kind of, I, I don't know if you guys are on Clubhouse or not, but every weekday morning <laughs> at 9 a.m. Central Time, Viper post uh, a room on clubhouse called coffee talk and it is one of the coolest places to hang out and just they talk about they have really no set topic that they talk about but for me i have to have a topic if i'm going to do something i feel like i have to have a topic Even if we don't stay on topic i feel like i need to have a topic you know kind of yeah. the whole is the topic talk amongst yourselves kind of thing. right <laughs> right right so, uh, so, but this is kind of in the spirit of coffee talk only on Saturday nights. So nice. Um, it's I coffee talk with booze. Yes. Yeah, I love uh, it. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> 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 but um, okay. I'm trying to get more um, creatives in here and. Um, not necessarily fluid art, not necessarily resin art, not necessarily even just art art, like like paint mm. and canvas art, but like photographers and web designers and graphic designers and and people who create content on YouTube and you know can have some insights on on, on things. And that's where our direction is with this program. That is going to be on the first and second Saturday of every month. Mm. Um, the third Saturday, we're going to bring in uh, members only live stream. So if you are not a member of the channel, make sure you jump on that because we're going to be doing a giveaway um, for our members every month. Um, and we're just starting to do this new programming going into 2022. And I know that sounds really weird because when I wrote it the other day, I'm like, this is a... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I graduated high school in 1992. Did I ever think I'd be writing yeah. 2022? Uh, no. <laughs> so um, we have some new kind of programming um, coming up in the new year, and coming and we're just starting to get it all meshed together. Is basically what we're working on, and um, we appreciate all our Haven tribes. So we're going to bring it in and create. Creators tribe is kind of what we're going for. So, cool. um, what we're going to call awesome. this show, uh, we don't know yet. We're still kind of hashing around names. So, if you have any ideas, <laughs> uh, you know, on the replay or here in the chat, you know, let us know. I mean, I like Creators Tribe. I really do because we yeah. just kind of yeah, I like that too. Me too. You know, that's kind of where we're at with this. So. Excuse me, I've got the hiccups again. I've had a <laughs> oh. <laughs> breathe, dish, breathe. Mm -hmm. But um, 
Um, so, Julie, why don't you let us know what is, like, one of your, like, top things that you use, like, every day or one of your top tools for, like, finding your mojo or just any of your top tools oh. for being a creative or a creator? One of my top tools for being creative is to just get outside. Hmm. I, I like to get outside and walk and just look at look at my environment, go out into nature, go out on a hike, you know, get get some fresh air, some just some nature vibes and that always helps inspire me. Mm. Mhm. Mm yeah. I always say mother nature has the most beautiful palette. Yes. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> yep. And I and I bring my camera with me, so I'm snapping yeah. photos of stuff all the time while I'm out there. So I've got kind of a reference to look at and kind of go off of once I That's get a back. Great idea. To, to keep the inspiration going. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So whether it be, whether it's just um, videos of me walking down a trail here in Tucson, or if it's just murals we've got some beautiful painted murals along some of the sides of the businesses around downtown and stuff here too and so sometimes looking at them creates a lot of great um inspiration also mm -hmm. architecture and different angles um really gives me inspiration for some reason it ne never did yeah. before but since i've been doing the fluid art it definitely does yeah, yeah. I'm very, I'm very goth, like Victorian, Edwardian, steampunk, you know, that kind of like whole like realm of things. And the mm -hmm. color, just the, the dark jewel tones and that kind of stuff, that really like hits my creative heart. Um, doing like the treasure journals that I've been working on with our members and even on my own, just kind of playing around with stuff. Um, turning my art, you know, like the fluid art stuff into something that's a little bit more practical. Um, and uh, I've always said that art should be used every day. And yeah. mm -hmm. um, I, I always say functional art, like my soaps and stuff that I used to make, bright, vivid colors swirled together, really pretty but it's so, and everybody's like, oh, it's, I'm so afraid to use it because it's so pretty. I'm like, I've got 16 more <laughs> in the back room. Use it. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, that's, you know, to me, art should be part of your day every day. And it doesn't necessarily need to be like Picasso type art. It's just something creative, something, even food can be art. You know, the flavors and textures and and yeah. all that is an art on how to bring that all together and have it go well. Oh, yeah. So, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Here's a question for all the um, paint pourers out there in the world. Um, once you started paint pouring and everything, did you start seeing cells in different things? Like when mm -hmm. you see the reflection, when you see the reflection on water, can you, can you, and you, cast the shadow can you see the cells in the shadows or the, in the condensation of things how there's some like cells and lacing i mean it's just it's funny how the two worlds intersect and stuff and then like tish was saying with cooking and stuff do you find yourself tilting oil in the pan like you would on a canvas <laughs> yes <laughs> yes yeah that is true <laughs> yeah, yeah. But yeah, it's like the two worlds just start kind of melding together. Pretty soon, everything is a pouring toy. Uh, you see the <laughs> little the little thing to squeeze lemons with, and you go, "Ooh, what would it look like if I poured paint through that?" And yeah, it's just everything starts incorporating between, and yeah, worlds collide. Yeah, yeah. And sometimes they collide by badly, and sometimes it, it's. <laughs> Like the tennis, like my tennis racket pours. I've done like six or seven, mm, yeah. and all of them are cool, and all of them are completely yeah. different. You know, like just totally different effect. And I, I've you know played around with it and found out the thicker paints actually work best with it. 
So that way you get that distinction and stuff. So, you know, that was one thing about um, diving into the fluid art realm is um, the the experimentation was, yeah. you know, I get to be a mad scientist. And that, to me, is what the draw was. Um, I don't like cleanup and I don't like finishing painting. I don't, <laughs> I don't like mixing paint. <laughs> it's just you are my sister. You are my sister. <laughs> I have so much stuff laying around that needs to have the finishing touches on it and then get all the photos and the description listed to get it on Etsy and stuff. And it just sits there. I'm so bad. I'm so bad. No, I'm, oh. I'm, I'm really awful when it comes to, like, <laughs> to finishing stuff. I, I have a bunch finished. Now it's just photography and and getting it up on a website and everything. Oh, there's my babe. Hello, Hi, Michael. Hi, Michael. Hello, everyone. Hey, hey Michael. Hey, hey Michael. Hello. Hello, hello. Hello. So we were just talking about our favorite tools, and I was going to ask uh, uh, Angie what her favorite tool is in her toolbox for being a creator, creative. Sure. And I have them right here next to me. Um, the, the first, of course, is is the glass of wine and the second mm -hmm. <laughs> the second is uh, my handy dandy chopsticks nice uh, Yay. Everybody, everybody in the chat probably said chopsticks before i even said it <laughs> i don't have chopsticks i have my knitting needles which is kind nice of like yeah these are plastic ones so they're nice and bendy and i can do a lot of different things <laughs> And they're yeah. from the dollar these, store, so if I get mad at the <laughs> Yeah. And so, I, use them, I use them for everything. Like, I'll anchor them in under the push pins and um, tilt the canvas around. And it's really cool. I don't know, Tish, if you feel this way with the knitting needles. It's like... Um, it helps me uh, feel where the weight of the paint is um, with the like with my arm elongated you know what i mean mm -hmm. like an extension oh, cool. of you know my my hand and stuff and you know it's it's just easier that way <laughs> and i use them to make swirls and all kinds of stuff so yeah you use thought but julie yeah. you were saying about people looking you know all over the house for stuff to use to pour over right. and pour into and I've I just been doing that for so long, and then I found these chopsticks, and I was like, oh, "Okay, I'll grab them," you know. Yeah, right, right. What would it hurt? <laughs> and now right. they're they're my favorite, my very favorite tool. And I I, I will um, I will say, um, chopsticks in culinary are like awesome. Mm. Uh, you know, are it's it's one of those things. Um. We actually use them for turning donuts in, in, in a donut make, you know, in, in your hot oil. Or when you're frying chicken um, in a pan and they're floating in there, you can use chopsticks to, to turn your, 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 your chicken. Um, they just come in really handy for a lot of different things. So it's not just fluid art that you can use chopsticks for. I mean, yeah. you, know how to, you know, do something, grab a pair of yeah. chopsticks, you know? Yeah. Oh, my ex yeah. my ex husband was from Vietnam, so I use chopsticks of different lengths oh, wow. in the kitchen in the kitchen for all kinds of stuff. So yeah, I know exactly what Tish is talking about. Whisking eggs, they work great yep. for whisking eggs. Yep. And and different batters and stuff. So yeah. It's so funny they're very, because, I mean they're just they're just the stick. I mean <laughs> uh -huh. I, 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 I mean, can do so yeah. much with them yeah it's crazy yeah. Let's see. <laughs> get them you uh, usually get them free with your asian order so order more mm -hmm. asian food yeah. i got them from pf tanks <laughs> i've only been right. there once i went to dinner there with my family down in dc near dc and uh 
Yeah. So they're special. And right. I, I, I took all of theirs. So I have like, you know, a set of six. <laughs> if anybody wants to come over and pour with me, I've got chopsticks mm. for everyone. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I've got mine. Wipe them off because I do. I use them. I use them for whisking paint and all kinds of stuff. I even pin my hair with them. Yep. So. Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah. You can use them to hold your hair up. Yep. My hair's too fine. It won't work for me. That's yeah, me I've too. Me too, Terry. But then, I've, then I get to walk around like uh, my favorite Martian. See? Mm. <laughs> so, my little antennae sticking out. <laughs> well, at least that's the only thing sticking out. Right? Uh, <laughs> yeah. They right. are. They're very, very handy. They're great. Chopsticks are a great tool, you know. Fly catchers. Fly catch, catch a fly. <laughs> yes, Daniel's son. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, enough uh, of that. Oh, sorry. I'm crushing your head thing. No. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Pushing your head. <laughs> All right, Karen, how about you? What's your favorite tool that you use? Other than glue. <laughs> yeah, well that's that was my go-to. Uh but <laughs> other than glue, and my favorite glue really is the golden matte medium. Uh other than that, it's trash. And I know that sounds funny, but like um like tonight I just made like this little stamper thing from like um wine bottle corks and uh hopefully oh. yeah like i'm gonna use this i glue them together with gorilla hot glue and hopefully i'm gonna use this to make collage papers right to stamp and um cool. if i'm not using that and this is the sad part about me since i started getting into art is that I really do collect trash now, and I didn't before. <laughs> but like <laughs> the, the plastic, right, that you get when you get stuff that's shipped to you from Amazon. Like I will cut off the, you know, the, you know, the seams, and then I'll use that. Like I'll spread paint over it, and then put it down, and you know, paste it down onto the paper or canvas. And that creates like not only color but texture. Um, oh, and I actually, cool. yeah, I picked this up from a guy on YouTube named Dan Tyrrells, who I think makes really beautiful art. Um, and I really love the technique. And I think he also uses trash for his art. And so it made me realize, like, oh, I don't have to buy like plastic to make this. I can just collect the plastic as it is delivered to me and just save it. Right. Uh, uh, but then the, the other thing is I, I switched to like a different type of toilet paper and um, it's like bamboo, but it also comes with this like fun wrapping. And um, so I've been using it with my art and uh, like this is just like two examples of it. Uh, so I just save these, right? It's covered in this and then we just take it off and um, I just oh, save yeah. them. And then I use them. That's genius. Yeah. yeah, it is. Wow. So I just like save this stuff and then I and then I use it. Uh, yeah, that's awesome. Re yeah, re that's my go-to. <laughs> Three yeah. R's, man. Awesome. Yeah. yeah. And newspapers. So that would be my last thing. But you know, I feel like trash is a really good source for and art. You know? and one man's trash is another man's treasure. You know it. She's you know it. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. yeah. I love it. Yeah, thanks. I, and, and here's the other thing, too, is you can take your junk mail and shred yes. it and make new paper. Oh, um, really? I would love yes. to do that. I, I'm actually, that's one of the members' things that I'm going to be doing um, once we get uh, enough junk mail. Shred I... It. Oh, I can so, help you with that. <laughs> <laughs> we get enough. We get enough. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> but it's just, I'm trying to keep it where it's like whiteish paper is together and like more colored yeah. paper is together. Because, you yeah. know, you 
spread it up, you let it soak, and then you hit it in a food processor or an old blender to make a pulp. Um, oh, wow. To some yeah. Water. And, oh, and cool. then there's a mesh thing that you just put it in and press it down and you let it dry. And there you go. Oh, nice. Got and then you, yeah. and then you have paper. Yep. Oh, and cool. I do some homemade paper, and it's, they can make some beautiful stuff, like yeah. cardstock with it and stuff, just gorgeous stuff. Yep. So. And I have a paper, it's an actual kit that I got at a Salvation Army or some first store um, back in the day. Um, but it's very easy to make your own screen and do your own thing. It's not mm. difficult at all. And that's some, like I said, that's something that we're going to be doing on the members only live stream um, coming up here once we finish the treasure journal that we're working on, um, which... Um, we got the signatures put in today, or one of them, and my string broke, and I'm like, screw this business. Ah, I, didn't, mm. I hadn't had enough coffee to deal with all of that and math. And, <laughs> yeah. But, so, Michael, hello, honey. Hello. How you doing, babe? Hey, Michael. Hey, Michael. Hello, to everyone. Hello. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, I, I think as far as the, the thing that I use the most is a sketch pad. Mm. Um, and, 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 you know, like number two pencils or, you know, some type of, um, you know, we've been kind of when we go shopping and we're looking for stuff, a lot of times, you know, I'm looking at different pen sets and whatnot. Tish has gotten me some really cool stuff as gifts. And uh, a lot of ideas just pop up and you just sketch things out or you write things out, you write notes out and, and so on and so forth. So I, I, you know, just kind of spitballing here, but a lot of it is just, you know, getting ideas together and creativity and sketching things out. So, you mm -hmm. know, just having a sketchbook, it's kind of like, you, remember how back when you were younger and they would say like, if you had a dream and you woke up from the dream, you kept a notebook next to your nightstand. Yeah. And, and, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and, and, and still now you can, you know, and uh, so it's kind of along the same lines. I mean, you know, things things come to you and you don't want to hesitate. Yep. You know, yeah. especially in, in, in <laughs> as we get older and it's like, okay, now, wait a minute. What was that? What was that thought? Or yep. I can, I can uh, think well, of a lyric. I'm so scatterbrained. I have to write it down or else yeah. Yeah. as soon as it comes in my brain, it's gone. And right. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I actually have dreams about pores, and sometimes <laughs> the dreams are just so flipping awesome it wakes me up. And then I'm like, no, 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 I gotta fall asleep. I gotta fall back to sleep. I gotta fall back to sleep. I'm not done. What well, what did I do next? <laughs> but yeah, I do. I keep a notebook right there so that I can write that stuff down and go, oh, I gotta try it with this, and I gotta try it with that. And yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah. And, you know, there's times I think of, uh, you know, lyrics or, or, or things that, you know, could be poetic, um, mm -hmm. you know, things that when we've talked about, you know, of course, a lot of us met through the fan films and different things that were going on. And when you start thinking about how you would actually script something and think about what a character would say, sometimes you're like, hey, you know what? That sounds good. Yeah. I, I, I want to, you know, I want to write that down somewhere where you know, uh, mm -hmm. you know, spot Making might notes. say this or yeah, yeah. and just make notes and, and that yeah. sort of thing. So that way you can. So, kind of, yeah. Michael, do you do you create storyboards and stuff, too? Yeah. Um, you know, a lot of times now that we're at, at the point that, you know, DVDs and Blu-rays and everything that came out and uh, you get all these behind the scenes of how things are made. And, yeah. and Tish can tell you one of the things on Netflix they've got uh, the movies that made us is a series yeah. they've got on now. Series, I love yeah. that series. Yeah, and you know it. I it, it, she'll be like, wait a minute, didn't we just watch that? And I'm like, oh yeah, I'm watching it again. Yeah, like, you know, <laughs> totally, I wanna, totally. I, uh, right, yeah. I, I want to see who that you know person was, the producer, the writer, and so on and so forth. And they're going back and forth about how they created things. And yeah. so when you're watching, you know, uh, behind the scenes stuff uh, in the special features and they will show like, hey, here's a storyboard that we did uh, to go right. ahead and put this together. I remember whenever um, George Lucas and Steven Spielberg were putting Raiders of the Lost Ark together. 
Mm. And, and they had a lot of the storyboards that they were doing. And, you know, it's just, it was amazing. And matter of fact, I've got a book that's right back here. I'll try to pull it out and show it to you, but it's called uh, how to draw comics, the Marvel way. And, oh wow! Yeah, and it is a uh, Stan Lee and um, oh, he's a genius. Cool, yeah, cool, cool, cool. And, and I'm trying to think of one of the artists, uh, John Basumi, I think is his name. But the thing that was is they they were showing techniques that they would use, and it was it was kind of angles of characters about how whenever they would storyboard something or actually put something into the comic. It was the angles they would use and, you know, versus just three people standing there side by side, they would do these things where one's, you know, kind of back and, and so on and so forth. And it was really fascinating learning that perception of how to piece something together in art to give a dynamic visual just through doing, you know, uh, an artistic drawing. And yeah, so, the, yeah. That, yeah, very yeah. cool. So. Yeah, those those are a few of the tools. Yeah. Okay. That I like. Night, Brian. Night, Brian. Night, Brian. Good night, Brian. Good night. Um my I'm gonna be kind of off the wall here. No, <laughs> say it so. Never. Never. <laughs> Man, imagine that. Wait a minute. A anyone that says off the wall, yeah, you gotta take a drink. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. Anything unusual? Yeah, got got to take yep. it. Yeah, <laughs> interesting. Yeah. Well, and unusual is a relative term. I'm just gonna say. I know. <laughs> this guy. That's why we're gonna be drinking a lot. <laughs> right. it makes it e makes it easier. <laughs> I'm always telling Michael. Well, you know I'm weird, right? So. You know, <laughs> I'm so you know, I'm, I'm so used either. to that now. I just kind of go, yeah. yep, yep. <laughs> I like doing this, but then again, I'm weird. So, but um, I I I wear my my geek weird flag proudly. But my yep. favorite tool, my honestly, my favorite tool wow. of all of my tools that I have in of like physical tools. Okay, not software, not my computer. Well, computer's a physical thing, but not software. Not you know ideas or whatever. My favorite tool is my Ryobi orbital sander. Okay. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> I want to get one. I want to get a sander. That is so that. pretty hot, actually. I yeah. Love my sander. Okay. One, it was a gift to me, not from the Zarina of Tokyo. But mm -hmm. <laughs> Adam, and he gave it to me. And so every time I use it, I think about him and our friendship and how much he means to me. Aww. Um, Aww. And yeah. I miss him a lot. So, um, but I can sand wood with it. I finish my coasters with it. You know, getting the resin drips off of it. I hit that thing, hit the coaster. I put it on a towel. <laughs> down, put it on a towel, zip, 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 done. <laughs> I, nice. I just finished a painting to show to Dan down at Fox Comics. Um, we're maybe going to be going in there on a Saturday and showing some of the artwork that I do to some of the people that come in there. Um, so we're going to be doing that. But I just finished a painting. Literally, I had the May the 4th painting, the, the galaxy oh, nice. painting. Oh, cool. I yeah. it cool. it, but I had so many drips on the back. I'm like, well, I'm just going to take the sander and hit this. And so it's like zip, 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 zip. I was done in three minutes. Oh, uh, nice. Y'all yeah. can, y'all can argue with your tape and, and all the other stuff <laughs> that you put on your, your paintings. No, I'm just going to let the resin flow and then hit oh. it with my sander. <laughs> mm -hmm. Far out. But I also finishing furniture. Um, you know, yeah. I, I would strip I would strip down, I just use some 80, 80 grit sandpaper and just strip it down, whatever finish was on there, you know, hit it with some TSP and then put my Zisner primer on it and then paint it to whatever I wanted and you know, bondo it and do whatever I needed to do to make it workable again. Yeah. So, but that sander has saved my bacon so many times. I tell you what, <laughs> tell you what. 
So um, I just want to say a quick hello to J J H A Art Studio. Hey um, Jack. Jack. Hey Jack. I'm Jack, but I always want to say John. I don't know oh. why. <laughs> I think that's sweet John's in my family that that's what I, I think of. Um, <laughs> Matt from Matt Carbs is here. Hey and, Matt. And Keely is here. Hi, Keely. Oh, hey, Matt Keely. said his favorite tool is a drum. Hi. Yeah. <laughs> I, I love my I, I have a yeah. Dremel ish. <laughs> yeah, I have a Dremel. I do. Dremel. I have Dremels one. are great. Yeah. 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 Well, mine, mine's a cheap knockoff from, from uh, Menards. So. Oh. <laughs> my nards! My nards! <laughs> my nards! Oh, my nards! That's so unusual. You know what? I'm going to I'm going to record I'm going to record Julie <laughs> saying that and we're just going to have that as a sound bite. <laughs> right? That way when I, when I can't make it, you can still have me around for that. Yeah. <laughs> we have, we have a, a Fight of Chris, so you know he hasn't been on Artapalooza in like over a year. I know what happened to him, man. He got a laser, and now he's too good for us. Come on, right. hey, hey, he's, he's, busy. he's busy. He's got some cool toys. So, oh, he does, he does, yeah. and he's making some cool ass yeah. stuff with it too. Yeah, he's making my some French. outstanding. I'm a little yeah, jealous. I, yeah, right. Oh yeah, yeah. It's like some serious tech. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I wouldn't know how to program it. Well, Michael right. would. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, I would. Oh, man. Yeah, I would. Yeah, Sparky would probably in, would, too. I wouldn't. Well, into it. that, yeah. I'm not into oh, that yeah. stuff. It's, it's finding the space. Yeah. It would be a paperweight for me, because I'm technically yeah. not there. Yeah. It's not my bag, either. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I, cre I, I, cre I really do. <laughs> I created a painting toy, and I'm going to reveal it next week. Oh, so, I'm excited. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, it's kind of exciting, but yeah, I I made I made a makeshift one here. Um, Sparky had mm -hmm. to had well, he let me drag him to Home Depot um, just before closing, and because. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah, I don't know when when that wild hair hits, man. I gotta I gotta do something about it, and I just I can't sit still until I do it. So yeah, I was like, no, I gotta go now. I gotta go now. So yeah, we yeah. went to Home Depot, got all the stuff I needed, and then as soon as we got home, boom, there I was, you know, sawing and cutting and um wrapping and twisting and all kinds of stuff and then it was like okay now i gotta use it so boom into the studio i went it's like the the whole recorded footage of it just stinks and it sucks and everything but you could you could still see what i was doing with it so you'll see it all next week and everything but okay. the toy is so big and so freaking bulky that it's awkward to use <laughs> So I contacted a friend who's got a 3D printer and he looked at it and kind of what I was doing and everything. And he actually 3D printed it for me. And Ooh, so, and cool. yeah, Ooh. yeah. He's, he's sending me a couple to monkey around with and play with and stuff. And okay. I'm just really super excited. Oh I can't God. wait to. I'm so excited. Excellent. Yeah. But now, but now Very it's like, curious. Oh, I'm wishing I had a 3D printer that I knew how to use and everything. So I could have just kind of tried to design it and sell it <laughs> myself. But, you know, that's how things go sometimes. But, yeah. yeah. I don't know. But it, it'll be fun to use anyway. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. Good for you. You know, but, yeah, the about being creative, though, is, is, is taking those ideas and running with them. You know? Yeah. 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 Yeah, but, so, but yeah, it just, it just, it just, the, the, the sad part about it is not having the money to get the equipment to do it for yourself, you know, yeah. and, and be able to do it or, yeah. you know, have, have mm -hmm. certain connections. I was lucky enough to know this person and that they had the equipment to be able to pull it off. So I'm just glad it's That's getting so awesome. I'm so happy for you. I can't wait. I can't wait to see it. Me too. 
Yeah, I'm very mean, curious. I can't wait to use it, whatever it is. <laughs> yeah, well, you might even have a chance to win it, you know? I, I hit uh, uh, 50. Awesome. Yeah, I know hit, you're talking. Awesome. Yeah, I hit my 1,500 subscriber mark. I'm not monetized yet, but I hit the 1,500 nice. subscribers. Nice, so. congratulations. Thank That's you. Awesome. So, Got to do a giveaway, so. Oh, yeah. congrats, babe. That's awesome. Yeah. So that should be fun. Yeah. So. The, I, <laughs> but yeah, I, talking I, about tools, you know. Hey, there's well, a tool. I, 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 <laughs> If you don't have the tool, you got to kind of make your own, you know, right. and, you know, I can't tell you how many times when I was trying to do photography that I needed some oh. kind of restrictor and I'm like, I don't have money to spend $80 on a reflector, you know, these fancy little, well, they're not little, right. they're big seats. So I took a big piece of cardboard and I put, uh, <laughs> aluminum foil and stuff. Right. Yeah. yeah. Right. And then I Put cheesecloth over it as to dampen the brightness a little bit. Oh, cool! And I made you know use what you got. You know, you right? Know, that's yeah. why we're, you know, right? The cookie. I'm, the I'm cookie still doing that. Still I don't get. I don't own a split cup. Like if I do one, I'll get my cup and I'll take some plastic that comes like over the canvases and I'll cut oh, them. Yeah. Or, or credit cards, whichever, and I'll stick them down in the cup to yep. keep them separated. And um, yeah, but I'm, I'm gonna get some split cup. I have to, because, you know. Right, but yeah, no, I know what you're talking about. I did that and before too, before I got mine, so yeah. yeah. <laughs> we're, we're, always, we're always coming up with something, right? <laughs> yeah. that's that's the yeah. it that's part of being you know creative that's part of being creative yeah right right that's part of it you know yeah yeah um, you know, i got when, something hold on let me mute my mic oh i can't i was gonna say let me mute my mic so you don't have to hear all my junk rumbling around while i dig for something i'll be right back <laughs> gotcha yeah <laughs> But here somewhere. Some of the best tools that I have are are, are cross are cross you know, platforms, I guess. I don't know, cross medias. I mean, this is a spatula for the kitchen and I use it for resin, I use it for paint. I'm even been using this for doing like glue stuff and you know spreading glue around and stuff. So I mean, it's a 99 it's a dollar it was a dollar you know and when karen was talking about using her trash you know i i can't tell you how many i've gotten mad at michael for throwing something away it's like dude i can right. use that right <laughs> yep, exactly trash exactly. is the best yeah. it really yeah. is yeah it really is it's just like it, <laughs> it's outside of the scope of things you know egg cartons and and just all the different things you, you can yeah. create so much. Mm -hmm. Som sometimes I use trash for frustration. I just want to rip it up. <laughs> <laughs> and that's okay. So that's like, totally yeah. cool. It's like, no yeah. judgment is that, here. Is that just, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So it's, yeah. It's junk. Okay. I'm going to rip it up. Michael's okay. one of the largest spatula with. <laughs> Yes. Yeah, <laughs> really I okay. stole it. <laughs> wondering the same thing. I wonder where the spatula was. <laughs> it crashed anyway, right? <laughs> <laughs> Before the whole <coughs> leaky cup, leaky cauldron, mm. all that kind of stuff happened and everything. Back in the day, I took a spice bottle. Just a regular spice bottle. Oh, and, my goodness. Yeah. And took this little lid off of it because my cup, these little um, Dixie cups, actually sat perfect and just kind of snapped right onto the top of it. Oh, my goodness. And, oh. Yeah. I love yeah. it. I love it. And then you can poke the holes through the spice holes. And stuff, and see how it would float and everything, or just poke them along the sides and let That's it run amazing. out the side of the cup and everything. That's great. Yeah. So 
I mean, you know, what do they say? Necessity is the mother of invention. Yes. Yeah. So, yeah, all kinds of crazy stuff like that, man. When you don't have the money to buy the, the little toys and everything, you just start letting your imagination run. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Cups, you know, I just mm -hmm. cut out sheets of, of um, cereal box. And, yes, I only ah. got use out of it, but I made a template. And so that way I always had something, once I got it right, then I just always had something to slide in there and just use that. And maybe some hot glue if I was feeling ambitious, you know. Right. But mm. I just want to say a really quick hi to Mr. L. Spicy. Hi, Lee. Hey. This seems very <laughs> sped. Um, yeah, it, it's just, I think part of the reason why I can do what I can do is because of the life that I've lived. Mm. And always being short on money but yet still trying to find things to entertain my kids trying to decorate their rooms trying to come up with halloween costumes trying to do all these things but having like no money yeah so yeah. you know you, you you can't just go out to the target and the walmart and say oh yeah we're gonna buy costumes for all four of our kids that are 30 dollars a piece that didn't happen right. you yeah. know <laughs> Except for the one year, <laughs> we got, uh, SpongeBob and Patrick costumes for Ariana and Clarius, and yeah, was, Ariana. Mm -hmm. Ariana was talking about that the other night. That I was talking. About. <laughs> you know, she, it's fun when your child that is in their twenties remembers something from when they were like seven. Yep. <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> like, yep. It, so it's just fun. So. Yep. Oh. Yeah, yeah. My thirty-year-old still remembers me teaching him how to draw a Power Ranger and an Autobot. So that That's that nice. makes me proud. Yeah. <laughs> but I, re cool. I remember. I, yeah, I remember sitting yeah. with my mom, and she would teach me how to um, draw a lady's profile in in one one stroke of the, oh, of yeah. the head wow. without lifting it and stuff, and. Um, so yeah, my mom taught me how to draw, and then I remember too, and I still have the ornaments. My mom and I sitting there painting these little wood ornaments together for Christmas one year. Oh, and, oh that's beautiful. So yeah, really. a lot of a lot of my childhood art memories are just me and my mom together making stuff together, and she just hmm. she taught me a lot. She oh, does. She did awesome. um, wood burning too. She did um, wood oh, burning. Wow. Yeah, she still has this big beautiful wood panel that she did of a horse and it's just gorgeous wow. so yeah i love that mm. thing my brother and i are going to fight over that i'm telling you <laughs> <laughs> so but yeah you'll have it, you'll have it on low you get it yeah. for six months you get it for six months <laughs> right <laughs> yeah you have the custody of it <laughs> so Oh. Yeah, I've got some great memories of my father and I building things. Um, you know, back in the day, G.I. Joe's 12 inch, you know, lifelike hair and Kung Fu grip and the whole bit. That was that was all the, you know, the cool thing. And right. they, they had all kinds of different amenities that you could get with the, Jeep, the Jeeps and the whole bit. And they had some kind of like a like an adventure team camp type of thing. And dad was like, well, let's let's, you know, let's make our own headquarters. So, yeah so That's we actually cool. it, it was cool. you know it, it was like a four foot toy box that stood upright that was hinged <gasps> and oh. it had shelving on it that we actually cut openings and put ladders in there and then yeah. the, the, cool. the 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 coup de gras was we actually welded using uh, uh copper and we made our own tower that had oh. a dish on it, and the dish would rotate around. Oh. And uh, yeah, yeah. It, it was it was so cool. It was awesome. And you know, yeah. the other kids were just buying you know store bought stuff, and you know, I actually yeah. had that. 
uh, yeah. yeah, you know, it's memories like that when you think about the stuff that you've made or even, you know, just making stuff out of cardboard, making, yeah. Yeah. you know, uh, fortresses and clubhouses and yeah. stuff like that. Uh, you know, great memories. And and once again, I mean, you know, you make the cardboard type of uh, headquarters and, you know, you draw the characters of that time and you put them in there and, and uh, you know, or, or you cut out. Uh, you know, some type of a flap that's like a you know, uh, a special portal and, and, and so on and so forth. Matter of fact, this is the book that I was talking about. 1978. Oh, my God. I kid you I love not. It. And it's actually, it's, it's signed. Oh, oh wow. Wow. That's and amazing. this was something that was ordered from Christmas wow. and it didn't come in time. So they sent me a personal note. <laughs> oh my God. Right. That's, <laughs> that, that, that's from New York. From oh Marvel. my God. And literally it says like 1967 <laughs> or 68 there, but they were like, awesome. yeah, that sorry that, so cool. that it didn't arrive in time for Christmas. Yeah. So, oh, oh. I think you that's know, fantastic. Cool. Yeah, so you know, it was. Um, they don't make them like that anymore, Michael. They don't. They really right. don't. Yeah. And, you know, you think about the, these are the uh, the iconic people that created these characters going back to the '60s that you look at. You know, Marvel now with the MCU and Ow. Tish, Tish and I uh, uh, ran to McDonald's and they've got you know the what whatever the new Marvel movie is you know, the chance for that. And, I got a happy uh, meal. She got a happy meal. So she let, let me have the toy. So I, I let him have the toy because it was from the, the, the new Marvel movie. And I'm like, here, add this to your collection. <laughs> but, well, uh, they had a special. You know, you buy a, a adult meal, you get a kid's meal for free. And I'm like, well, I'll eat a kid's meal. I'm a big kid. Right? right? <laughs> me too. I need the little cups are. It's like, dude, that's like three scoops and it's gone. <laughs> you know? <laughs> now I'm a guzzler. Like I'm a guzzler. So it's got to yeah. be a big cup. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, Mine uh, has, I think it's a half liter. That, that, yeah. That's a cup well, right I, there. I, I'm finishing number, number, number two. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry if my cat was being really noisy. Oh my god, I couldn't hear it at all. Okay, yeah. good. I didn't hear it. No. Oh, okay. Totally good. Well. He's hey, fine. It's Saturday night. Yeah. <laughs> right? It, Ray, cats can Ray, party on Saturdays too. Exactly. It's I was okay. going to say Ray yeah. is right outside. <laughs> this, uh, the scouts back here sleeping. I mean, they're all doing their thing. So. Hey, Saturday night. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I've got my, I got, I got my brandy here. Yeah, right. Oh, nice. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh well. So put that away. If you have any like. Tips. Say there's a new artist that you're talking to, or a new creator. Mm -hmm. What what kind of tips would you say as far as like just starting out in whatever craft that you're in? What is there something that you know now that you'd like to impart to somebody new in the artist world or in the creative world? Is there any like kind of thing like that that you'd say? Um. Hmm. Yeah, I would say. Yes, you want to save money, but don't start out with the cheapest possible products you can find because yeah. those usually lead to disappointment. Um, yeah. I, I've just I've had too many in the beginning of this whole journey. I've had too many paintings that I've had to toss because the craft paint cracked. And um, so, and just, so there was the money that I was spent on those items and the canvas and everything. And so it was actually wasting more money. Just go, just start out one step above. 
the cheapest. Like get get the actual tube paints from like Michaels, the Artist Loft brands, the mm. Liquitex Basics, the Masters Touches, and stuff because they are a bit better quality. And that way, it also takes out a variable that you've got to try and discover if something does go wrong. What caused that thing to go wrong? Well, now you can rule out the paint quality. You know, you can you can yeah. rule that out. It, it wasn't the quality of your paint because that's a decent quality and almost everybody has success with that. Not everybody has success with the cheaper Craft Smart, Anita's, those types of paints. Yeah. So, barrel yeah. And, yeah. Right, right. Yeah, not everybody has success with those. It takes it takes some really getting to know those paints, man, to get to get them to work. At least for me it yeah. did. But yeah, but yeah, when I made that jump from the craft paint up to the next level of the like level twos and then into the hard bodies and flow acrylics of so the, the fluid acrylics and stuff um, like these, these are the more expensive ones. Um, yeah. Wow. What a difference. What a difference I saw in my own work. And so, yeah, don't, don't try and save money by wasting it here because that's, what's going to happen. You're going to end up wasting more money and, then it's going to lead to dis more disappointment, more trouble trying to figure stuff out because there's just too many variables. Was it? You can just rule that out. So that's the advice I would give. Yeah. And Julie, you know what? Just to <clears throat> go off of that just a little, um, you know, when I first started, I heard a lot of um, artists who had been doing it much longer uh, say, you know, get get the golden, you know, or get the, um, you know, whatever brand that's a little bit more expensive, Amsterdam or, or right. what you do, because, um, you know, you end up, because it's a higher quality paint, it has more pigment in it, um, you end up using less and right. so it ends up being saving you money and at first i was like no way no way but you know it is true because it the, is true the, the basics yeah. and the um the others i mean i would just be like and half the tube would be gone <laughs> you know right right um, so and that's really true so yeah I'm exactly just branched off of what you said Mm -hmm. and, sure. and to to further what you guys have said as far as you know don't go with the craft paints don't and you know you use less with the higher quality paints but you're also going to get a more consistent result with the higher end paint so yeah if you yeah. buy the liquitex product you are they have a higher quality standard so you know that yep. you're going to get this result with this paint Every single yeah. time, the craft paints—they don't care. They're just gonna throw whatever in. But speaking of right. paints, we have Miss Christina Welsh in Hi. the chat. Hi, Christina. He has some fabulous Yay. Courage posse. Totally um, exciting. She says, she says yep. yeah. For her tip is yes. Don't compare your art to others, and that I couldn't agree. Yeah. With. Mm -hmm. Amen. Word. You know, Word. I, I have been acrylic pouring for almost three years now and my art even comparing it to myself to what I was three years ago it's like right. good lord yeah. you know <laughs> what was I thinking you know mm -hmm. Um, they're still beautiful and they're still awesome, but you find the paints, you find the colors, you find the techniques that you love and, and roll with it and, 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 and broaden those. And it doesn't have to go necessarily with paint pouring, but even watercolors and, and, um, you know, there are certain, um, like when you're doing cake decorating, do not please for the love of God. <laughs> <laughs> things holy. Please do not buy the liquid droppers of food coloring if you're going to color buttercream. Please OMG. do not. <laughs> Please. That's awesome. Get the paint. Get, get the gel, okay? You're going <laughs> to Take it from a pro. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
if you want to take it even a step further, there is colored, there's powdered pink mint. There used to be. I don't know if I've been so far out of the loop. Oh, there wow. used to be a powdered pigments that you could add to your powdered sugar or your whatever, you know, um, sugar that you're using um, and get it to work. And it's just the most brilliant reds and the most brilliant colors. So it goes across the board. You know, yes, you can use the generic Kraft macaroni and cheese, but we all know that Kraft. Makes <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right. right. So yeah. Just keep that in mind, you know. And like uh, Kraft, said, Kraft is king. That's that's in that Don Henry. <laughs> so, yeah. We all know Kraft is king. But um. Oh. Sherry says I did start with the apple barrel, but the points you're making are very good points. And I, I'll be honest with you, I have apple barrel paints. I have yeah. craft paints. I mean, right? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. I Don't we all? I've got it. Right. Yeah, color, I've got it. Kind of absolutely. The color shift paints are actually considered a craft paint. They're not considered a high end paint. Right. But they do right. some really cool stuff. You right. Know? Right. So. You know, and um, upcoming video is I'm going to be doing comparisons to the neon paints and the glow in the dark paints. And I'm trying to get my hands on different brands that are readily available. Right. But nothing is readily available anymore. Right. You know? so, nothing. Um, it's, right. You know. but, but we know that this, this one has a bigger chance of cracking before this one does. Right. You know, there's just there's just a difference between the two. This one has so much water already in it. So you just it, it's a it's a matter of knowing your animal too. Right. You know. Mm. Right, which yeah. But yeah, I but I do. I've got I've got craft smarts weighing around and stuff. Oh, I too. do too. I do too. Right. And, yeah. and here's the thing, too, that you can do, you know, is use them for other projects. You don't have to use them for fluid art, you know. Right. Use them for, for you know, painting. Exactly. Because, you know, or you can use them right. for a thousand other things. Or, I, I or just play. Or just, like, get play. a cheap, you know, watercolor notebook and just play yep. that stuff. Yeah. And, yep. and just feel okay. free because mm -hmm. I feel like with cheaper materials... I'm more willing to let loose because it's cheap and I don't care. Whereas right. with like more expensive and I love golden and I, I really have after having used a bunch of brands. Who was that guy? I've, hey Mike. <laughs> <laughs> that was my husband, everyone. Mike. And this is everyone. <laughs> hey Mike. <laughs> hey, hey Mike. Hey Moa. After after using a bunch of brands, I've settled on Golden, but um, I just uh, now I just use it freely. But I think in the beginning I was hesitant to use good materials because it was really good and it and it cost me a certain amount of money, and so I didn't want to use it because it was really good. Um, yeah. so I feel like sometimes with cheap materials, I, you know, was free to just explore and just let right. loose. And I say the sky's the limit. So use those cheap materials to try something oh, new sure. and different. Absolutely. Right. Absolutely. Yeah. Work on your color, your color palettes, working on your, work on your color theory. Use those colors to work on, you know, okay, so I'm going to take this red and this blue, and I'm going to see what kind of colors I can create out of it. Right. You know, what shades of purple? Can I get brown? Can I get, you know, play in the paint. Play. Play in yep. your, you know. Exactly. That, that, you know, because I'll be honest with you, when I was a pastry set, chef and I needed a specific color, I would go and I would get cheap craft paint. And I would find out my ratios I needed yeah. to get to my color that I needed with the gel colors. Because gel is exp it's expensive. Those Wilton colors are expensive. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, I only had like yeah. four colors. 
when I first started out. Like art it, materials it, in themselves right. are just expensive, <laughs> right? It's like even the oh stuff. Yeah. Uh, I have so much baking stuff, and I gave my daughter most of it. So when I moved to Illinois, but I still have a lot of it, and um, you know, just having quality products to do your final product, but use the cheap stuff to play. You know. Get, get the here you want to where's my thing here here it is i got these on clearance they're watercolors well, i'm going to try an experiment i paid 38 cents for this thing mm -hmm. but i have an idea i yep, have right. an idea for creating something so i'm going to use this first and then i'm going to use my good my good watercolors if this works Right, so, right. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And yep. my thing is, is if I see a color, I, I just, when I go paint shopping, it's, I just look at the colors. And if I am drawn to it, then I'm going to pick it up, whether it's apple, right. apple barrel or whatever. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. I was just making the point that, you know, I, I was like, oh, no, there's no way it could be cheaper. But, you know, I did find that I used less of, of the more expensive paint than the, you know, the cheaper. Mm -hmm. And it, I guess it does all work out, you know, mm -hmm. in the end. But <laughs> but no, if, if it's a color I love, it doesn't matter what brand it is. That's right. <laughs> Agreed. <laughs> I totally agree. I could not agree more. Because yeah. <laughs> that's it. That's well, just it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. may be cheaper, but butter always tastes better, right? <laughs> That's the way I always explain it. It's like, yes, you can get away <laughs> with shortening and you can work with shortening, but butter always tastes better. <laughs> yeah. I don't, I don't, you can get these bottles of the Artist Loft Soft Body and yes. create your own custom colors. For like your, your base coats and stuff like that, and, and for just the, in the pour itself too, you know, yep. play around and yeah. So you don't have to go out and purchase the most expensive um, tube of phthalo green. You can mix the blue and the yellow and you know and some black, and you know, eventually you'll get there. You just right. have to just keep a little bit of this and a little bit of that, you know, Mambo mm, number five. Right. It. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got that song in my head. Why do you always <laughs> get that song in my head? Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> earworm. Earworm alert. Yes. yes. I, I even put my earphones on so I wouldn't get any earworms. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, you know, it's just. You know, we were talking about gear and um, in another live stream that I was in a, a while back and everybody's like, oh, I want the Sony, this or that or the other thing. And it's like, why? The camera <laughs> on your new uh, iPhone is just as good as far as quality wise. Can you do as much with it? Probably not because you can't adjust yeah. certain things in, in your iPhone or in your brand new Samsung phone or whatever phone. Um, you don't need to go out and spend thousands of dollars in glass. You don't need to spend thousands of dollars in, in, in camera bases. Use what you got, you know, use what you have. Learn, learn all of what you can learn with your camera phone. You know, your, your phone on the camera on your phone. There we go. Um, <laughs> learn all you can with that. And then once you've learned everything and, and have it down pat, then then go and 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 explore those things you don't need to have you know the best camera to to start your youtube channel with or start your you know discovery process i mean part of the reason why i started the youtube channel is because i was starting to learn how to do fluid art and i kept forgetting to write things down because when i was making candles and soaps I would write down all of my notes. All of my notes would be written down. I still have my notebook for my soaps. And um, I wrote down everything, every ingredient, the temperature, 
what the weather was like, all the notes. So <laughs> I got lazy and I just said, I'm just going to record myself. And in the beginning, it was say it's Tuesday, September 28th. You know, it's 48 degrees outside and this is, it's raining. You know, so, um, you know, now I just, I do video instead of writing things down because I'm lazy. But that's how I started my YouTube channel. That's how I started getting into that and and doing all the things. So you, you don't need to go out and spend a lot of money. Just go with, be creative, you know, be a creator. Have fun with yeah. that. Yeah. I sent you a, a messenger pic one time. Uh, I don't know if you remember, Tish, um, but I said, can you believe I started out on Artapalooza just over a year ago with this, and it was a picture of a Rubbermaid, a little square Rubbermaid container with rocks in it, and my little old LG propped at an angle just right, and then I would set that up on top of boxes so that it would angle down at the canvas, kind of, and that's how I started out on your channel. And yeah, you talked me into it. You're like, you've already got what you need. This is all we're gonna do, I and mean, then you'll be able to do it. And yeah, you you started all this. This is all your fault. <laughs> no, 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 no. I just you could do it. You're the one who actually did it. So, <laughs> I, hey, free advice is free advice, you know. <laughs> so I, I appreciate that. That you know, I actually had someone say that I was their favorite YouTuber, and be, does that humble you in like three point eight seconds? I don't know what does. Right. Um, it's just like, you know, I created this channel um, when I was going through a lot of stuff and I just felt really alone in the world. And I'm like, you know, I'm sure there are other people out there in the world. I mean, there's like six billion people on this planet or something like that. And I can't be... I can't be the only person because someone once told me a long time ago well not that long ago about three or four years ago that even if you're one in a million there are still six hundred thousand people just like you <laughs> so okay. so there's still six hundred thousand people out there that are like me that think like me that feel like me so i need to get them here on the channel <laughs> <laughs> So I can hit that hundred thousand mark, but it, for me, it's not about the subscribers. To me, it's about sending out that message that you're not alone, that we love you, and I don't care where you come from. If you live on Baltic Avenue or you live on Park Place, I I don't care. I, Absolutely, I, you yeah. are human being first, and everything else second, and that's just how I have to be. Um, because I have lived on Baltic Avenue. I have lived literally in the parks and under a bridge. And I, I, have, I have been there. So, and I know what it, it feels like to be completely alone and on your own. And so I, I just want everybody to know that that's the reason why this channel was created. Is because I didn't want other people to feel alone. And... I, I'm hoping, I'm in hopes that this will bring all us creatives together in a for, in a media format like this. Because we're still under a lot of restrictions. We can't, we can go out, but we have to show proof of this or proof of that. Still need to like be careful because, you know, people are still getting sick. My son tested positive two weeks ago for COVID. So, oh um, he's fine though. He's a, he's a young brute. <laughs> yeah, the, the monoclonal man that worked for my brother when he caught it. Yeah, he's he's you know that makes me wonder if I actually had it and just didn't know it because he was fine, you know. So right. my kids like have the immune system of Zeus, I swear. <laughs> but it, um, you know, I just. We don't have anything else better to do, kind of thing, because we can't go out, and so why not hang out online, you know, and right. hang out with people that we can trust. And if I can't trust you, then there's something wrong with you. Because <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I, I, I give you the benefit of the doubt. 
So, yeah. uh oh, who did we lose? We lost. Um, yeah, we lost. lost. Karen. Yeah. Uh -oh. oh, no. She'll be uh -oh. back. Probably. Okay. Unless her battery Hopefully. died. Hopefully. Oh. She's on yeah. her phone. So, but ah. um, that's kind of the. The thing here, that's our, our running theme, is we're we're gonna help out whoever we can. And 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 if this if this live stream is helping you get ideas and be encouraged and, and whatever, please share it out there on the interwebs because that's the way we grow is, is by you sharing us and um, absolutely bringing more people into our tribe. So um but unless anybody else has anything else to say, I might just wrap this baby up and call it a night. Um, we are uh, going to do this next. Yes, I, 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 I was going to say, I don't even remember what the question was. <laughs> <laughs> well, Michael? What? What? <laughs> <laughs> No, I. No, I, 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 I Where's Karen? I, Hi, where, sorry guys, my sorry. phone like died. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. That's all right. <laughs> sorry, Michael. Story of my life. I just got Happened excited to, to the talk. <laughs> Thank you. No, I, I'm Thank glad you. Back. Hey, that happens. We've seen that happen yep. quite a bit. Multiple te times. Te technology. Yes. Mm. When it works. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I didn't. I didn't have a full charge. My bad. My bad. That's what he said. <laughs> I, don't, I don't. I don't have the. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. That was perfect. Thank you You're so right. much. Oh Thank no. You. Thank you. <laughs> Karen, Karen with the assist. Yay. Uh, <laughs> that's good stuff. Um, I like it. I like. It. No, I was. I was just going to talk about. Uh, I saw in the chat that Sherry had mentioned something about just uh, you know. The tips that I would give someone would be the same thing. Just relax. Uh, don't, you know, don't frustrate yourself whenever you're doing yeah. anything. And, you know, I know everyone's talking about uh, paintings and, and, and using paints and different types of material. But, you know, I, I've got guitars here um, that, mm -hmm. you know, is just as much, you know, with music people that are looking about getting into music and, and they're shopping around for a guitar, they're shopping around for an instrument. I mean, you don't have to buy the most expensive thing that's out there. I don't, I, I don't know what she's laughing about. But. <laughs> I have to say guitar. You're just, huh? your, southern, your southern shows when you say guitar. the word guitar and guitar. when you say cigar. And when you say guitar. cigar. Guitar. 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 And guitar. guitar. Get that Drink guitar. 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 I love I love that. I love that. Uh, get, that I love get that flat top box going. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, but yeah, you know, it's just uh and once again, I think uh Christina Welch was talking about, you know, don't compare yourself. Uh, to to others where you know mm -hmm. if if you're doing something just you know go with it if you want to try a different technique you know once again kind of you know looking at different techniques that you find in books or just watching you know each other uh just you know relax enjoy experiment uh you know play around and one of the things in music that we were always kind of talking about was people would ask ask the big question you know, should you get formal training or should you just, you know, you know, do it yourself? And one of the things that I always thought was a good tip was just, you know, if, if you're sitting down learning how to play piano or the guitar or, you know, whatever instrument it is, you know, kind of play around with it and just, you know, enjoy. And, you know, if there's yeah. a little so song you want to pick up, you know, you you can find someone on YouTube that has the tablature to show you how to do that. And once you do that, 
and then you kind of feel like, hey, you know, I've I've taught myself a song, yeah, and now I'll I'll you know I'll get a little deeper with it, and so yeah. you know, and and don't it don't get frustrated if it's if it's not coming immediately, uh, right? You know, it's the type right. of thing that uh, you know can take time, so yeah, right, yeah. And yeah. what I could add to that is when you do compare yourself to others, you find yourself more trying to emulate and imitate them instead of trying to find your own style which becomes the new sound or the new look or the new style you know what i mean Does that absolutely make sense? Yeah. yeah yeah it's good to get inspiration from other people right. but put your own you know because it, it shouldn't look just like someone else's because it's got right. your energy in it so right. you know it's good to get inspiration from others, but always put your, you know, your spin on it. There, there's yeah. a saying called comparison is the thief of joy. Mm. You need to yeah. create joy. You need to create your happiness. No one else can create that for you. No, yep. you know, that, that's the one thing in life. People are like, oh, he makes me so happy or she makes me so happy. It's like, no, you can't rely on that. You can't yep. rely on something else making you happy. You have to create that for yourself. Just like you have to create your own art. You can take yep. Fiona. Fiona flowers have been often tried to be yeah. duplicated, but they're never exactly the same because Fiona puts herself into that. Fiona right. puts her Fiona-ness into it. And that's right. why when I was doing the Fiona flowers, I, I call them fantasy flowers because... <laughs> they were inspired by Fiona, but they were fantasy flowers, and 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 none of them looked anything like hers. But I loved her technique, I loved her idea, and I made it my own, and I did my own thing with it. And as soon mm -hmm. as you do that with your art or your creativity, you know your photography, your sculpting, whatever you're doing, once you can find yourself in your art and say, "Yeah, that's me right there." that's when you're going to be enjoying what you're doing and find your passion in what you're that's doing. That's a wonderful feeling too. When you feel yeah. that. Yeah, exactly. And that's, you know, that's just kind of what you need to, what you need to do with anything you create, you know, is put your love into it, put your, put yourself into it. You know, I always said, I told Michael, I used to put bacon in the chili just because I like the smoky flavor of, bacon in my chili but people thought it was gross and i'm like okay i won't do it anymore <laughs> so i do it when i'm cooking for me i put i i fry up bacon so it's super duper <laughs> and i cut the fat off so it's just bacon and i chop it up and i put it in there and it gives it that smoky flavor and mm -hmm. I love it. so you know put you into whatever you create whether it's video audio music arts Food. Cooking, yep. Yep. Mm. Do, do you? You do you the best way you can, and, I, and roll with it. I also think yeah. though that in emulating or trying to emulate other artists, you find your own flair. Like you find your own take on what that person is doing, and then yeah. you find your style. And so, copying other people is. I think totally okay when you're a beginner because yeah. like oh, what else sure. are you going to do, yeah. you know, well, but you're going to, you're going to find your, your signature in right. doing that. Right. Yeah. 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 Right. Don't yeah, set you're, the you're, expectation that you're well, gonna you're going to have, you're going to have influences. Right. Right. So, so those influences and, in, you know, once again, you, you think about music and, and, you know, the, the Beatles, the Rolling Stones, and they were all influenced by Chuck Berry. And so, yeah. you know, a lot of the stuff yeah. that they did was they did Chuck Berry covers. Uh, but, yes. you know, it, it was the type of thing that with that type of sound it, that they were kind of emulating a, a blues, you know, <clears throat> and, and their rock. Yeah. And then they, yeah. you know, then they formulated their own. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So, but, uh, but don't, don't expect that you're gonna sound like you know Mick Jagger. Don't make it. You know, don't expect yourself to be that person or that artist. I agree. Just, you yeah. know, yeah. just 
copy what they do, but find you in that process. Right. Yeah. And sometimes that yeah. takes time. And I, I yes. find that that does take t some time. Right. Which I think, uh, you know, it that is not always a welcome suggestion in right. Right. today's that, culture. But I think point. that. Yes. Yeah, you, yeah, you yeah. need time to kind of develop yourself. And, you know, if you're if you're doing your art regularly, you're going to find yourself faster. <laughs> you know, I mean, that's that's the, that's the honest truth. You know, you know, it's almost and, like you, it's like patience is a dirty word. That no yeah. one see here. I'm just not a doctor. I don't have patience. Yeah. <laughs> I think no. our patience went out the window once the invention of the microwave. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. You know, I I love to watch like how um, techniques <laughs> like grow and evolve. You know, yeah. as people, yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, new artists come in and they they uh, try mm -hmm. um, you know a ring pour or what have you, and then somebody tries it with something else. And you know, I love to see how the arts. You know, everybody adds their own energy mm -hmm. and their own style into it, and the technique itself you know, tends to evolve and grow. And, and that's just really cool to, to see. I like that because it's a yeah. conglomeration of like everybody's energy. And one thing yeah. I have to say, I have to say on that, and, and it, it kind of perturbs me that there's people out there that say, oh, I invented this technique. And it's like, listen, sweetheart, <laughs> <laughs> Smooth art has been around since about 1935. Okay. So I highly doubt that you have invented this technique. That would be like you saying you invented this new wheel. Yeah. So, right. You know, I am not, uh, unless you have done something like scientifically different and whatever, I don't know, but you'd have to go a long ways back into the history of the world. I mean, oh, yeah. art as we know it has been around since since about 1935. Um, 1939, somewhere in there. I can't remember exactly the year. But if you think about it, fluid art has actually been around since people were putting glazes on pottery. Yeah. Because yeah. they would put glazes on pottery in a fluid form and do a co certain combination of glazes and, you know, which are water and different micas, different oxides, different things like that, that when fired would turn into different colors and different mm -hmm. textures and different things like that. So since they started putting glaze mm -hmm. on pottery, which I think was right around 16, in the 1600s, I do believe. Um, so, yeah. Mm. Don't get out, get off your high horse and come back down yeah. to the <laughs> and realize that you're not that almighty. <laughs> one of the things that has annoyed me about, about the fluid art realm, and, you know, I, I, I love you. Thank you for sharing your twist on this technique, but it is not yours. <laughs> well, and I think, I think the one way that they could prove it to themselves too uh, is if you think you've got something completely original, think about the elements that you did to it as you were doing it, whether it was spinning it, swiping it, pouring it in a circle or a ring or whatever. Put those keywords in the search term for YouTube videos and see what pops up and see what the dates were and how many years back it goes because you're seeing a lot of different pores right now that are becoming super popular again. But if you look in the YouTube search, you can see other artists that were doing them four or five, six years ago. So, yeah. Uh, like, Christina yeah, and it just kind of comes back around and it evolves. And it's just like fashion. It's just yeah. like yes. Right. <laughs> exactly. Bell bottom. Fashion. I'm waiting yep. for leg warmers because I love my leg warmers. But... Um, Me too, Tish. I want to leg warmers back. <laughs> I, I miss them because they kept me warm. Yeah. 
<laughs> I do so not miss the flash underwear over the here, lady. You know. <laughs> There is yeah. there's a very there there's an old uh and, and I say old because it's old now, sadly. I feel like I'm dating myself. But there's a, a <laughs> lyric from U2 where uh they say every artist is a cannibal, every poet is a thief. And yep. um, you know, we all take from each other for inspiration. Yeah. Uh and there's there's very I feel like what they're trying to say is there's very little that's actually really original. You know, you're mm -hmm. you're inspired by someone and then you're gonna give your take on it. And right. yeah, you know there's far less originality in the world that than we would like to admit. Um Yeah. Yeah. That's all I'll say. I mean not I'm not trying to be, you know, controversial, but uh, you know, that line has that that lyric has stuck with me for 30 years um and it has been very kind of a guiding force in my life in, in some ways it, it's like we we're all sort of in this together guys you know yeah. we're, we're all yeah. sort of pulling from each other and yeah. Creativity and art is sort of like something in the public sphere that we're all touching and then, you know, in, inspired by it and then doing something from or reacting from it. Uh, right. I don't know. That, that's my interpretation of it. No, you know, you make a great point and it's, it's not that it's plagiarism. It's just it's the aspect that people will get inspired uh, yeah. you know, through somebody's lyrics, someone's poetry, yeah. someone's art, somebody's music. Uh, and, and, you know, the, they say, you know, the imitation is, is, is pure, you know, uh, flattery of, of someone, but it's, it's still one of those things where, uh, and I think even Matt was talking about this, you know, we practice techniques to copy those techniques of someone. Uh, right. And then, and then, yeah, and then once again, you know, you put your own spin on it, you put your own type of flair to it, and so on and so forth. So, and, and you can't say, hey, yeah, I created this because you, you'll always find someone that will go, yeah, but if you go back to like Delta Blues <laughs> and, and, and Blues yeah. of this time, you know, you're yeah. going to find that somebody was doing that way before you. Right. And so, you know, it, there's no reason to act like you created, you know, what <laughs> right. you, know you didn't create the wheel. Hey, you know, you just, you've got your, your own version of it, your own spin, your own technique, and, and so on and so forth. Well, and yeah. Pablo yeah. Picasso has been, has been cited. I don't know if he actually said it or not, but he said something on the lines of good artists borrow, great artists steal. So, hmm. you know, you're always going to go out and you're going to find something. You're going to think it's new. And because you've never seen it doesn't mean it didn't happen. I mean, right. yeah, of it goes back, you know, recorded history goes back how many years, you know? So, right. you know, just say, hey, I, I, you know, I don't know if this is done before, but I found this and I really enjoy doing it, you know? And right. if you're taking a certain. That's what it's all about. Yeah. Yeah. If, what you brings know, you if, joy and spreading that joy to others. Exactly. Yeah. It's like me putting my bacon in chili, you know. Yeah. <laughs> you were making chili. me hungry today. <laughs> I know. We're back to chili I, again. I, I, I'm sorry. <laughs> I had McDonald's for supper, and so I'm still hungry. But I know. <laughs> I, 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 I've had an oatmeal cookie. I have I have ice cream in the freezer, so <clears throat> I know. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, they're gone. Uh -uh. <laughs> oh, they're gone. That's funny. Uh -oh. yeah. well, Too late. Too late. Over. Uh -oh. Oh, you're not? <laughs> you can walk. Um, <laughs> uh -huh. Uh -huh. Well, look, I know. Hey, um, I think it's about time. We go yes. ahead and All right. Tonight. Yeah. Yeah. I'm so glad we had this time together. <laughs> <laughs> share a laugh for singing. Oh, my songs. goodness. <laughs> Is it that bad? Sorry. No, so bold, so bold. I would never sing no, ever in a, public, so I respect it totally. Yeah. <laughs> really good. 
Yeah, yeah. 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 Y